Go, go. Can we talk? Aye. Long as it's short and to the point, cos I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Wanna try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Ah, oh, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're gonna run against, make your wager, then ride to Blackbow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? So, who are you gonna race? Struttering m, -m, -m matko Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll say... I'll... I'll... Ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. Nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. Who else is racing? Hey there. Faster. What's the matter? A monster bothering you? Nay, a ghost. Can you tell me anything more? You see, Jackamar haunts my dreams. Jackamar's my husband, or was till he died at war. He stands by my headboard and wails. So many years apart, I've such woe in the beyond. Come join me. I say, I'll come, Jackamar, but when the gods summon me, not before. Then he says, Leave your wedding ring by me grave. It'll make the whiten lighter. And I'd leave it, were the woods not so terrifying. So, I thought to myself, maybe you. Be glad to help. Where's Jackamar buried? A little cemetery near Blackbow, in a grave neath the old tree. Here, take me ring. Once you've laid it down, come to me for your reward. We live in a hut in the middle of the village with my granddaughter, Lessie. 
Where the hell? Hmm. Strange. You white one, look like you got soused last night too. You, white witcher, what brings ye? Lessie, right? Wanted to talk to your grandma. To my... But she's been dead for years. Guess I talked to a ghost. Why wasn't she buried alongside her husband? I can't say for certain. I was a little last then, but me mum told me that shortly before Grand died, she learned Grandad had kept lovers on the side. She had no desire to lie beside him. Seems she changed her mind. She wanted something to connect her and her husband in the afterlife. Asked me for help. It's hard to believe. But you've an honest look about ye. If you helped Gran, you deserve a reward. Here, taint much. But I'm afraid it'll have to do. Think your two swords could take on Ooh. forty? You. Escort. Cuts and punctures. Swords at work. Deserters. Recipe brewed with celandine. Hmm. Should look for the places mentioned. Ugh. 
please help me. Hmm. Sounds sincere enough. Can't be too sure, though. Could be a trap. Hmm. Medallion's humming. Better investigate. Kira's lamp ought to prove really handy here. Not that way! Won't find me there! Energy emanating from these bones. Spectre's doing. You're wasting time. Long dry. Hemorrhaging fever of some sort. That's it! Down there! Beat me here. Stop up that way. Good. Yes, this way. Missed something. Blocked. Need a way around. Stalagmites! Destroy them! Free me! <laughs> At last! You have my thanks, Witcher! You're not Reynold. My observance, albeit a dead slow. You leave this mine. Oh, 
but I will. You are the weaker Witcher. I'll kill you, then spread for your viscera. Invade your mind! centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasma. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. I can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasma. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. How did it happen? that you came to be trapped with the miasma. Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though. They panicked. Sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist. Or... Or called for another witcher. Anything. And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine. All forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm hmm. I saw. My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. 
I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices, torches, wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. Who are you exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself, like all witchers at Kaer Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor, like all witchers at Kaer Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of, when exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. It was... 970... Or no, 80. I... I can't recall. Damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osmond himself would have come. I'm sorry. My asthma tried to impersonate a witcher earlier. You the real, Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance. But the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin, they'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were gonna discuss them when we met at Kaer Morin. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left-hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep. You're free of the Spectre, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre, as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word for my peace of mind. Why? Aim to have a theological debate? What'll a few words change? Let it go, Reynold. No. Aim to look him in the eyes. Ask him how his religion looks upon those who condemn a man to death and damnation. 
This kid, he's got no ties to the clerics who sealed you in here centuries ago. Can you offer me them in his stead? No. <laughs> Thought not. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom! How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I... Uh, I had no idea. Ray... Reynold... I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, Hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Look at him. He's a child. What crimes has he committed? Forgot the verse of a hymn? Snuck a sweet roll while fasting? Believing the word of hypocrites, his soul transgression. This kid, this priest, treats witchers like humans. A rare specimen. More. An endangered species. Well, in fact, the Church holding mutants in low regard, it's an error, a misconception. Scripture states, um, respect and cherish every living creature. Hmm, respect for life is demonstrated here. As, as the prior says, he says, Oh, confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but, but now, knowing of this travesty, the Church must protect the weak, foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is... What shall I do? Where shall I go? Fantastic. A crisis of faith. You just weak, or is this real regret? Truths you've learned here, what'll you do with them? You're a hero prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! Ah, a hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. You may lack the will to fight, but I know one who doesn't. Don't need a church of your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye, true. So right, which, uh, witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted, true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted or read my asthma for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. 
Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world... Here! Your reward, Witcher! Give my thanks for... Uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside. Not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former deacon. And good luck with your search. Osmond's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kermorin.